This is a Dell Optiplex 990 that I received for free from a friend around one year ago. I initially wanted to make a server out of it, but then I changed my mind around two months ago and I decided to make it as a secondary PC. I had to modify a bit the case so that better components can fit. I got rid of the drive cage which was here, also had to cut a 3.5 inch extension for disk drives. I modified the case by cutting it with the Dremel here, so that the video card PCB has enough clearance to be installed in this case. Regarding the power supply cables, these are a tight fit. There is only like 3-4 millimeters between the cables and the case when it's fully closed. I cut some metal parts in the front side so that I could mount a Noctua 14 centimeter fan for the intake. Then I replaced the original heat sink and fan with a Noctua part. Also installed the exhaust fan. These are both 90 millimeter fans. Next, I had to replace the power supply. The original one was. 290 watts, I think, but I might be wrong, but in any way it was broken. So instead of trying to fix it up, I just replaced it with a Corsair RM750E. This is a modular power supply. And I chose that because I could just do a better cable management in this small case. It's not best, but it's not worst. I installed a GTX 1070 card from MSI. This one is the Supremix variant with 8 gigabytes of RAM. I've been having it in my uh, spare parts drawer for around two years. This was my main card on my former workstation, which was was replaced with something better in the meantime. Also upgraded the RAM to 32 gigabytes. While here, I replaced all electrolytic capacitors with OSCON parts. These are all SEPC or SAP F solid polymer capacitors. Replaced all of them by the power conversion conversion circuitry also by the CPU, by the RAM, there are a couple under the fan I uh, also replaced the ones next to the card slots this should give me some peace of mind and uh, given the fact that this machine will mostly be powered on either playing music in the background or doing office work like writing in Word or using Excel this gives some uh, peace of mind. It's an old main board after all, like 10 years or more. The CPU is an i7-2600, which I think is quite adequate for this video card. I had to make an adaptation on the front side. I uh, used this Chenbro bracket here so that I can fit the Samsung SSD, it's a 500 gigabyte SSD. Initially this case didn't came with a bracket here, just had some duct tape to contribute to the airflow. I removed that and fixed it with this server part that I had been lying around. The screen 
is a 27 inch Apple Cinema display, the LED variant. This is also like 10, 11 years old. I had it for my main workstation, but I retired it around two years ago and I replaced it with something better, both at the same time with the video card. Keyboard is garden variety, Logitech wireless, which I'm aiming to replace in a couple of weeks. I already ordered something else and it's uh, it's in shipping now. And the mouse is a Logitech G603. An older model but it works nice and it fits my hand. From time to time, I also play games on this. My favorite is Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. It's an older game, but it's one of my favorites. And I've been playing it for the past 16 years or maybe more. Basically, from the day this was released. The loading times are pretty fast for a machine this old, but in any way Stalker appeared a couple of years before this i7 and a couple of years more before this graphic card. I'm playing it at 2560 by 1440 all details on maximum bar the entire lysing which I don't see any reason to use on a 27 inch screen running on native resolution. Let's just load a game. I remember on my original PC that I had when this game appeared loading times were in the order of tens of seconds maybe one minute or more but now with an SSD and so much RAM and higher power CPU loading times are basically instantaneous and the image quality is very good FPS is very good when I first played this game I was lucky if I reached somewhere between 15 to 20 FPS but now I guess it's uh, somewhere in the hundreds so I played this game for so long that I remember most of, uh, of the traps that I had to avoid most of the dialogues and most of the glitches since this is the vanilla ver version so yeah, I think this is a very good machine in 2024 not only for office use but also for playing older games. I think that might, this might even run Metro Exodus, but <laughs> then the FPS would be around 15 to 20 with this graphics card. Otherwise, games from uh, the late 2000s are totally playable. And you could use this for watching videos, also playing music, doing office work. These machines are very cheap these days, a lot of companies getting rid of them. You can find them on eBay or on our local flea market for cheap, dirt cheap, like anywhere from 20 US dollars to 100 US dollars depending on the configuration. 
if you have some spare hardware that uh, is still usable, like this graphics card, then you could build a decent machine for for cheap. Anyway, if you happen to receive the machine for free, like I did, then it's even better. I know the power supply costs like four times the price of the entire machine. The graphics card as well, the CPU cooler and the fans are also expensive compared to machine's price. But I think overall you're still cheaper than buying an already built PC. Yeah, I forgot about this. This ambush. Bloodsuckers. There's one more. Come on. There you have it. 10 years old hardware still usable in 2024.